<laughs> Dior. Dior. You better stop. Um, bonjour mes amis, it's Curly Guy here and I am bu 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 back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I told you guys that I would be doing another one soon and I'm doing it now. Um, so if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're you know notified every time I upload a video. Please excuse any extraneous noise that you may hear. That is Dior. She is in the back. Let me see if you can see. She's back there, as you can see, playing, doing too much. Um, but yeah, so if you hear any noise, it's her. Um, so without further ado, let's get right on into this video. Oh, I know I should tell you, but you seem so happy. Okay, so I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions, and you guys sent in some questions. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start answering those right now. Um, I decided that I'm going to do 10 questions. Uh, I think 10 is a sufficient amount, and it doesn't take super, super long. Hopefully, this won't take super long. Um, so, okay, Dior, you need to calm down. She in the... Mm -mm. I'm sorry guys, she was just being too loud with that toy. Um, so anyway, the first question, and I'm not surprised about this question at all, but the first question says, am I dating? And um, I guess technically I would say yes, because I have been on a few dates. Um, am I actively looking for someone? Not really, not necessarily at the moment, but um, I'm dating, like I've been on a few dates, you know, here and there, um, just hanging out, whatever, but nothing serious. So. I guess you could say I am dating, but I'm not like, you know, looking to date. Um, the second question says, why did I choose nursing school? Um, okay, so I chose nursing school because I was working a job that was severe monotonous. It was the same thing every day, um, and I didn't really get to see anything exciting. You guys know my first degree is in exercise science. Um, and that's pretty much that. I knew the career of nursing would afford me the opportunity to do many different things, many different avenues. Um, it will also allow me to travel, which is part of this job, this YouTube job, requires me to travel sometimes. So I knew nursing would afford me that opportunity as well. And you can make a decent living pretty much regardless of where you live with a nursing degree. So that also played a factor into it as well. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little thirsty. I have some kombucha here that I've been drinking. You guys tell me if you drink kombucha. Comment down below if you drink kombucha and what kind you would recommend because I haven't really found any that I like the flavor of but I know it's supposed to be really good for you. Um, so definitely let me know. This one is the watermelon wonder. But anyway moving on to the next question. I don't know why oops I don't know why I get this question so often, but I do get this question often. How old am I? Now, I don't know if that's because people really don't know how old I am. Like, maybe I look so young that people don't know how old I am. Hopefully, that's the case. But anyway, be that as it may, I am 28 years old. Um, in fact, I'm closer to 29. My birthday is in January, so only about four months away. Um, less than four months away, I'll be 29. So, there's that. Um... Somebody asked the question, let's see, what does it take to date Curly Guy? Um, honestly, it's a very simple question. I know a lot of people see me in my videos, they think I'm high maintenance, they think I'm bougie, they think I'm stuck up, they think I'm wealthy, which I am not, I can assure you. Um, all it takes to date me is honesty. You just have to be honest. I have to be able to trust you. Um, I have to find you attractive, of course. Um, but beauty is in the eye of the beholder, as they always say. And you have to be fun. Like, I like to laugh. I like to have fun. I also like my space. So you can't be clingy because I really do like my space. But it really doesn't take a lot to, you know, date me. I'm a pretty basic, not basic, I hate to use the word basic, but I'm a pretty average guy. So, I mean, and you have to be okay with me doing the social media because I know the hair and, you know, all the stuff that I do can be a lot sometimes. So you, of course, have to be okay with that. But that's all it really takes to date me. The next question says, have you ever had a one night stand? And full transparency, you guys, I'm never going to get on here and lie to you guys. I always say that because I mean it. Yes, I've had one night stands. I've had multiple one night stands. I am a guy and I am a young guy. 
Um, so it's almost a rite of passage. It's very natural, very normal to do so if you so desire. Um, if you are sexually active, just make sure you're being safe and taking care of yourself. Um, but yes, I have and that's just that on that. Um, the next question says, how do you take care of damaged ends? Um, <laughs> I'm going to make this a short and sweet answer. You don't take care of damaged ends because you cut them. Once your ends are damaged, they're damaged. That's it. Um, I don't know if you care about your hair being curly. I'm assuming you're talking about natural hair. Um, but this goes for any hair. Split ends, damaged ends won't, you know, mend themselves. You have to cut them. There is no way around it. Cut them and be done with them. Okay? Period. The next question is, what happened to your dog? Now, this is... Um, obviously from somebody on Instagram and I knew I was going to get this question um, I actually got this question a few times since then I just haven't sat down to record this video so long story short I have a roommate and um, she's allergic to dogs or whatever the case may be which I'm not too mad I was mad about it then but I'm not too mad about it now because it was kind of a blessing in disguise because with my lifestyle I do have a cat you guys know and cats are pretty much self-sufficient. They maintain themselves pretty well. Um, as long as they have food and water in their litter box, they're okay. Um, my cat Dior, she is um, May, June, July, August, September. She is about four months old and she is trained to her litter box. I have never had an incident with her using the bathroom anywhere but in her litter box. So, yeah, she's um, very convenient for my lifestyle because with clinical, sometimes I'm gone for up to 12 hours at a time and she just maintains everything on her own. You know, a dog would have to, you have to take it out. It's just a whole lot. And then my roommate is also in the nursing program. So even if she wasn't allergic to dog, I mean, even if she wasn't in the nursing program, she wouldn't be able to take the dog out and do all of that for me. So she was a blessing in disguise. Um, when do you want to move after graduation? Um... I had like, okay, so ultimately I want to move to Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, but when I first graduate, I'm going to either work in med surge or some kind of step down unit just to get that experience for a year before I can start traveling. So I'll probably end up working in Wilmington, North Carolina or Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm leaning towards Raleigh, but we'll just have to see whichever has the better job offer and the better opportunity. Next question is, says, what type of nurse do you want to be? Okay, this is a loaded question, and when people ask me this and I say this to them, I often get a lot of flack about it, um, just because it's not necessarily patient care. Um, like I said, I will do med surge or step down or something like that just to get the experience. However, patient care is not my calling. It's not what I want to do. My area of expertise focuses more on cosmetic nursing or aesthetic nursing, as some people call it. And essentially, what that is is it's a nurse who does like who, you get certifications and you do things like Botox, filler, um, laser lipo, um, vaginal rejuvenation, things of that nature. So I'm pretty much more on the cosmetic side of things so that's what I want to get into but of course like I said I do need to do a year of experience before I can start traveling and before I can typically get hired by a clinic or you know um, some type of specialty clinic that would do those type of procedures so yeah but um, don't come for me because I'm not into patient care it's just not my thing if it's yours and you love it you know hats off to you but it's just not my thing and also cosmetic nursing and stuff like that falls more in line with my brand um so yeah the next thing the next question says um oh this is the last question actually and it says what advice would you give someone on dating and going to nursing school wow that is a loaded question and that is a good question to end on so I would recommend someone in nursing school, it just, it just depends, um, it depends on how you allocate your time. I like to have a lot of time to study in, um, and then I like to have time to myself. So it's a little bit difficult in nursing school because you'll find that the more time you want to spend with your significant other, the less time you will have to spend studying and doing things that you need to do. And you'll actually see that in your grades. It'll be reflected in your grades. So it also depends on how long you've been with that person. Maybe if you're married or if you've been married or if you've been together for years. I guess you'll kind of try to find ways to make it work. But I think one thing that's really important and helps you two to communicate in that relationship is if that person helps you with nursing school so if they you know an hour or two out of the day they quiz you or help you study um that's time y'all are spending together granted i guess it's not like normal time or fun time but it is quality time 
you're helping your significant other is helping you out or you're helping them out and you're getting that time together so it's a toss-up nursing school my program specifically is only two and a half years um, and I'm closer to finish now so it's good for me but Typically, the nursing aspect of the program for BSN is about two to two and a half years. So, all I know is if you really love that person and you really want to be with them, but you also really want to be a nurse, you'll make it work. And that'll only be about two and a half years of your life. So, you'll have the rest of your life to spend together and do whatever it is that you desire to do. But I definitely think you should try to make some time for that person, but the bulk of your time needs to go to studying um, because it's a lot of content in a short amount of time. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say that nursing school is easy because it's not. As you guys know, this is my second degree. Um, and this degree made my first degree look like cake um, in comparison to the material as far as the concepts and the amount of content as well so definitely be mindful of that but it's possible to date in nursing school I have several friends that are in relationships that have been in relationships now I do have some people however in my program that are going through divorces or that have experienced breakups and stuff I won't say do to nursing school but surround it around nursing school so just keep that in mind when you're applying for nursing school or if you're going into the medical field at all because it's going to be a challenge but it's doable obviously I'm doing it it's doable um, so yeah that's all my questions I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I had a lot more questions but I'm trying to keep these videos around 10 minutes no longer than 15 um, so yeah definitely go ahead and subscribe if you have not give this video a thumbs up if you liked it oh I got a visitor you guys Dior says hello. Hey mama. <laughs> this time for her to eat guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And um, remember guys, if you can't keep it curly, ain't that right Dior? Keep it classy. Bye guys, I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>